guys. Today I'm gonna do a favorite video, and this is my favorite items this past month. So first thing I'm gonna start off with is the Skinny Cow. Now, I need to disclaim this. Skinny Cow has a huge campaign going on right now. Um, this was sent to me from My Likes, and it's actually pretty delicious. I get sent stuff all the time, and most of the time, it's like stuff I'm not feeling, so I don't even bother mentioning it. But this one was actually delicious, and I, I, I promise you that. When I think of diet foods or diet candies, it usually tastes pretty bland, or it tastes like artificial sugar, or you know, just stuff that's not delicious. So um, what they are are basically candy bars. There's only 110 calories in each bar, and um, most candy bars, I'd want to say, are roughly 200 or more calories. Right, babe? Huh? Yeah. Yeah? So... I'll, I'll like, we can look it up on Google. I guess you could. Why don't you look it up? Let, let's say... No, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, because those are my favorite. Oh. One, pa one package, one of those, one of these two packages uh -huh. is 210 calories. Oh, see? So that was pretty good, huh? What it is, is wafers covered in chocolate. Mmm. Can I have the rest? They also have like little chocolate clusters in milk chocolate, dark chocolate, and they also have the peanut butter version of that, which actually I think I would enjoy because I like peanut butter. One of my guilty pleasures is Borsin. I don't know if I'm even pronouncing that right, but it's just the cheese that you would spread on your breads or crackers and this one is garlic and fine herbs i actually got this um from a set from costco and you know how they do the things or you could just sample foods well this was one of them and i almost died in this spot so delicious definitely not the best thing for you like okay so two tablespoons of this is already 120 calories but it's still really delicious. I think you guys should give this a try. Okay, go ahead, your turn. Okay. We just recently went to Maui and my favorite product of the- Are you really gonna do a product review like that? What should I do? Maybe come up to the camera. Oh, hey. I don't want them to see my mustache. <laughs> <laughs> you tried not. That's why you were like, my favorite product. <laughs> my favorite product of this month is this coconut candy I got at this place called Coconut Glens on Maui. He makes fresh ice cream. He makes fresh ice cream out of coconut milk and he gave me this candy for free. Anyways, so that's my... <laughs> Why are you laughing? He gave it to you for free. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he... Because he really liked you. He really did actually. I took a video, which at the end, end of this video, you can um, click on the link to go see it if you want. Coconut Glens, an ice cream place that also sells coconut candy. My next favorite product of the month is this candle from Bean Pod. And I've never heard of the brand before. I actually just walked into a store, was looking at a bunch of candles, and I smelled this and I was like, oh, smells amazing. It's, I, I guess it's alo aloe vera scent, which I don't really know what aloe vera smells like. It has a very fresh, clean, scent to it so i actually just light this in our room and it smells great all day and night it is soy based so it's actually good for the environment you know when sometimes you like the candle and it suits that like black smoke and it's just i don't i really don't know what it is to be honest but um it can be good for you i know that and this one was 19.95 so i guess you could say it's actually about the same price as the Bath and Body Works candles. Speaking of Bath and Body Works, you like that transition, huh? Uh-huh, why? What'd you do? Bath and Body Works, my all-time favorite scent is Sun Rife to Raspberries. And I don't know if you guys know, but they discontinued the scent. Isn't that so sad? You've been tweeting about it. I have. So then luckily they still sell Sun Rife to Raspberries online. I ordered the plug-in, you know, the wall fragrance plug-in. I ordered two of these and a candle. Um, but definitely my all-time favorite. If you guys never smelled this, you should hop onto the website, see whatever's left, and give it a try. It's still on fragrance. This Beyonce 
Heat. I think that's just the name of it. Beyonce Heat. I just got the Outta Toilette at Rite Aid because I never smelled it before, but I heard it smells good. I love fresh fruity scents. Is and this the is one of them. Like wine? No, it's not infallible. The only related thing is Beyonce. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But it's not from the line. It's not mm. from L'Oreal Paris. That kind of smells good. It smells good. And Benji's not really one. He doesn't like a lot of scents. I like, like the old lady ones. He likes the Chanel, Chanel number, five. number five. Marilyn Monroe Award. I'm sorry if I offend anybody, but I just do not like that scent. I smelled it and I was like, ugh. Kind of like aromatics from Clinique. That does not smell good to me. But I like fun, fruity, fresh scents, and Beyonce's Heat has that. This one. Well, um, I like that one. Next favorite is this lipstick from NYX. It's from the NYX Matte Collection. And this color is Bloody Mary. I like this because it's not exactly a red. It's actually, let me swatch it for you. So it's more of a pinky red, but it just glides on so smooth. The texture's perfect, and um, it's pretty long-lasting. Another it's favorite of mine, which I recently discovered in my makeup collection, is the Candid Coral Blush from e.l.f. I'm wearing it today. I just put it lightly on my cheeks, and it gives your cheeks a really pretty glow. It's more of a sheer tone blush, so unless you're packing a lot of it in, you won't see too much color. And it was only three bucks. And my last favorite product of the month is Embroilice Chapstick. And I've had this for over a year. And I'm going to show you. This is all I have left of it. I'm so sad. But this is just the best chapstick. The other day I did a video swatching all of the NYX matte lipsticks. All, I think like 21 or 22 colors. And then, you know, when you do that, your lips get super dry, especially since these are matte. But I put this on between every color and my lips were perfectly fine. They were well moisturized. And so um, it's definitely the best hands down chapstick I have ever tried. 10 times better than Burt's Bees, 10 times better than the Nivea. And this is all in my opinion, okay? This is the best. And that concludes my favorites of the month. And Benji's favorite, so thanks so much for watching. So don't forget to comment below of what your favorite products are, and um, or even post a video response. I love watching video responses. All right, I'll talk to you guys later, bye. Flavor of the cop. He said it, he said it, brother. Oh. oh, come on, there it is. All right, let's go. What's that good, when, it, when it's not really good for you, but, Secret pleasure? Is that a word? It's guilty pleasure. Guilty pleasure. This one is Secret definitely my really bad. 